Welcome guys to Ahmed Academy, in this video we'll be covering the anterior triangles of the neck and how to remember their boundaries. Using this simple diagram and looking at the neck from a side view, first we have to draw in the mandible, hyoid bone and the midline of the neck, followed by the muscles, number one the anterior and posterior belly of the digastric, the sternomastoid muscle, the trapezius muscle, followed by the omohyoid muscle, the superior belly and the inferior belly. From here we can already observe triangles forming and can easily work out their boundaries using this diagram. Try to familiarize yourself with the labeled version of this diagram too. Once again being able to reproduce this diagram in an exam situation is very important as you learn the origin and insertion of each individual muscle and how each bone lies in relation to the muscles. It's going to help you produce this diagram easily and without any thoughts from looking at this diagram you can work out the boundaries as we are going to do for each individual triangle now. The first triangle we're going to work out is the submandibular triangle which has a superior border the superior border is the body of the mandible, its anterior border is the digastric muscle anterior belly and its posterior border is the digastric muscle posterior belly. The second triangle is the carotid triangle which consists of the superior border being the digastric muscle posterior belly, the lateral border being the sternomastoid muscle its medial border and the inferior border being the omohyoid muscle its superior belly. The third triangle is the submental triangle its inferior border is formed by the hyoid bone its medial border is formed by the midline of the neck and its lateral border formed by the anterior belly of the digastric muscle and the fourth triangle is the muscular triangle of the neck which is the dubious triangle a reality having four boundaries the superior boundary is the hyoid bone the medial boundary is the midline of the neck and the supralateral boundary is the omohyoid superior belly and the infralateral is the sternomastoid muscle the inferior portion. Also from this diagram we can work out the boundaries of the posterior triangles of the neck number five being the occipital triangle and number six being the subclavian triangle. So next time you come across a question which involved a specific boundary of a triangle in the neck then you can go ahead and uh, draw this simple diagram and use it to work out the answer instead of having it to do all in your head. And finally I want to thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful please give it a big thumbs up and leave your opinion in the comment section below as well. And if you want more videos such as this one then please consider subscribing to the channel and following us on Patreon.